one last thing we can do is to evaluate if adding a last task to our production process is worth doing or not. And the reason why this might be worth accomplishing is because this new task is a task that will allow us to, to sell the product at a higher price because the product is perceived as having higher quality but in exchange, since we are adding putting more workload into our product, we won't be to, able to produce at that uh, fast speed uh, as we were producing prior to adding that task. So let's imagine we have a 30th task. We add task by using this button. And we have this, remember these two elements here, one of the either duration. Okay, we can use four as it is already written there. You can type whatever value you need to type. and we can, you, we don't have to say anything about the station because it is the output information we'll get when we solve the model. And what you need to do is to tell the model that task 12 precedes task 13. You need to, to check this item here to make sure. If you don't do that, you'll get a warning message. So if we solve now, okay, task 13 has no precedent task. Do you still want to run the model? I'm going to check that out. I'm going to change it now. Task 12 precedes task 13. Now, when we've done that, we can now solve the model and we get what we get is an increase in our cycle time. Now we're producing uh, two elements uh, 22 minutes apart from each other. That means reducing our capacity for producing this, this amplifier. So, if the value received uh, by the customers and the increase in the money they're willing to pay makes up for this reduction in production, that might be uh, uh, something worth doing within our reduction process. If not, it, not, it will not be profitable.